What's up, guys? Welcome back. I hope you're having the best day of your life today. Today, we're going to talk about some type of object that is fired at some angle. This is going to be a clown out of a cannon, a ball kicked, but it's going to be given some sort of projection down a range like this. And this is a continuation of free fall and also horizontal projectile. I'll link both of those videos up if you haven't got there yet. But so when we look at this, we're going to have some sort of object. Let's say it's given a V equals 25 meters per second, and it's fired at some theta of 30 degrees. And, and our goals are going to be to see how far does this object go? How far will this clown fly? Does it go? All right now, this is a little bit more difficult, a couple more steps. But it can be done very easily if we break it down into simple steps and you follow the procedure every time. Number one, you need to find X and Y components. Find the X and Y components. And the reason we want to do so is because in physics, we can never plug in numbers at an angle. All right, this is what we call a resultant, right? So this is R. R can never go in formulas. All right, so if you have a test coming up and there's an angle projectile, this R can never ever go into formulas. So the way we're going to find the components, all right? So the X component is going to be the resultant times the cosine of theta. All right, because this is going to be the X component. This is how far it's going to go, where this is going to be the Y component up here. So we can see that that's adjacent to the angle. So when I plug this in, I can see 25 meters per second times the cosine of 30 degrees. We do some math, and we find out that the X component here is going to be 22 meters per second. I'll do the same for the Y component where this is going to be R sine theta. So once again, that 25 meters per second times the sine. And I remember this by saying, why did I sign this? Because you're always wondering, why did you sign that? So Y is always going to be, why did I sign that? And that is going to be 13 meters per second. Guys, that's going to get you enough partial credit already on an angle projectile. So if worse comes to worse, just do that. Find your X and Y components first. Then we can start to worry about how far did it go. The next thing that the next step is find time to max height. All right, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to use VF equals VI plus AT, which should be given to you, okay? So remember, guys, from previous units, the X's and the Y information can never, ever mix. So time to max height or how high is Y information, all right? So nothing from the X information can go into this formula. So we know that at max height, VF is going to be 0 meters per second, right? When it gets up to max height, the ball stops for a second. The V initial, we're going up. So we need the initial velocity in the Y. This is our Y component, 13 meters per second, which is why we have to find the components. How high is how much was it thrown up right here initially? Now the acceleration, which is going to hurt this speed, we know when we say hurt in physics, we just say ni uh, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, and I want to know my time to max height. All right, so when I substitute into this formula, I see that my time comes out to, and you can do this on your calculator, is equal to 1.32 seconds. Now this is the time to max height. Now, if per se, your teacher wanted you to find the distance to max height or how high did it go, if you wanted to do that, you could do that very easily using the same information but this. So for how high,
Then you would use D equals VIT plus one half AT squared. But for our goal here of how far does it go, which is really D in the X direction, we do not need to know really how high it goes. We just need to know the components and then we need to know how long does it take to get to max height. Now, why is that important? The reason it's important to know that is because the total time of flight Okay, that is equal to two times the time to max height. Okay, so now when I found 1.32, that was the time to go boop, 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 up to here. Okay, but I want to know the rest, so I need to double that time to know this part. Boop, 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 to know where it landed over here. All right, so I find time to max height, which is right here, max height. So when I find the time to max height, that's only going to be one half the time of total flight. So now for my third step, and this is going to get you there, that's going to be the entire problem. If I know that my third step now is going to be, I want to know how far. Now, guys, remember, now we're going to switch away from the Y. Now this is X direction stuff, so X stuff. All right, and to do so, we're going to use D equals VIT plus one half AT squared, and we're going to see some magic in a second. DX is what I want to find out. VI in the X direction, guys, remember that's right here, VI in the X, and this was VI in the Y. So don't confuse the two. So we have 22 meters per second times time, but now remember, this is what was time to max height. So total time is going to be equal to 2.64 seconds. Guys, that's a huge physics point right there. 2.64 seconds. And guys, what is acceleration always, always, always in the x direction? Ax is always zero. So all of this can go away. So to find how far, I don't know why I did that, eraser, D. So this D is just going to be equal to VIT. So the distance or how far this object went was just, uh, what did I do here? 22 meters per second times 2.46 seconds. And that's going to give you your answer. That's going to be the whole problem. 22 times 2.64 is going to be equal to 58 meters. All right, guys. So that is how you find it. does not have to be as difficult as it looks, guys, but the steps are always going to be the same. One, find your X, Y components. Find the time to max height. And if the problem wants, use this formula to find how high instead of how far. But most of the time, they're going to ask for three. How far does it go? And that should get you there. If you're looking for just a free fall question, I will put a free fall video right here. And down here is going to be a horizontal projectile video if you want to know more about horizontals. If you want more videos, guys, please subscribe to them right here. I would really, really appreciate it. If you have any other topics you want, just email me. Let me know. I'll work through any problems, guys. Have a good one.